read another poem of mine that I wrote two weeks ago. I don't really um, tie my poems until I get up here. It's, oh, yeah. This first one is called Seal Hunting. They stand steadily together, the past and the present, watching as the water bubbles and churns, signaling the arrival of food. One grabs his harpoon, his quiet song lulls the seal asleep on top of the ice, beside the water that is its home. The other readies his rifle, his profile a stark contrast to the white, pure land surrounding him. His breath is coming out in quiet pants as he too sings the seal to sleep. They are one, the old hunter and his harpoon, the young man and his rifle, but the seal does not know this. The seal does not know that this very moment, the moment of aiming, the moment before, um, sorry, has happened before, will happen again. The old man and the old hunter and his harpoon is no longer here, but the man and his rifle is. The reasons for pulling out a weapon are very much the same. Food, clothing, shelter, culture. The seal is all that and more. Thank you. I told my friend once that his body was nothing more than the sum of parts that houses his soul, his personality. I told him to think of his body as a house, that's plumbing was connected to the electrical. Uh -huh. Something unnoticeable by, from outside eyes, but disastrous, as soon as he flushed the toilet from the faucet. <laughs> I told him this because I wanted him to know his body was not unfixable. That the only way to find the home he's been searching for was not to destroy the one he was born into, but to fix it, renovate it. Give it a new coat of paint, and, a, and the steady hands of an electrician or a plumber, whichever it is that makes it livable again. <laughs> Your body, my friend, is not a condemned house, is not a disaster. You are not defined by the rust in your eyes, nor the chips in your skin, nor are you defined by the way by what people see in your face, because inside, you are more. You are home, my friend. You are home. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>